Team Welterweight Division matchup. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, it's most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of many. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting through step one and step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hip back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! I am in the UFC walkaway Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 169 pounds. Fighting out of Lafayette, Louisiana, boom boom. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 166 pounds. Fighting out of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Big Train. All right, Griffin, you're losing the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fighting. So here we go with round one. Seems to be a situation in which he wants to do everything in his power to keep this fight on the feet. He'd appear to have a lot of advantages at distance. We'll see if he can get it done tonight. Yes, he has all the advantages because we don't see many specialists anymore in the UFC. Guys can generally do everything, but this guy is a jiu-jitsu player. He wants to get the fight to the ground and start to weave his web of traps to try and find a submission. This striker needs to maintain his space to make sure he is not on the ground. Avoid it at all costs. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Well, he we told you off the top he had the reach advantage and you saw it right there with that punch. That oh! oh, straight right. They separate. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Under three minutes remain in round one. Nice loop and punch. 
he's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. The guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. That is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed upright. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Oh, big punch lands. Beautifully timed with the Superman punch. Looking to land the right just out of range. There's no tell on that leg kick. Wow, that actually got the takedown. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. There, huge block for him. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Round two straight ahead. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. Nice. That was perfect. Good round. He's rocked. He's still rocked, all right? He's ready to be finished in this match, all right? Okay, ready? Round two. You ready? All right, second round underway. Big kick land. He loaded up there on that high kick. Beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh, massive knee up top! Oh! He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Well, missed on that one. Just misses with the jab. Big punch land. Ooh. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. And there comes the separation now. Oh, and he caught the kick. Nice leg kick lands. A little pop below that left eye. Just misses with the left hook. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now. It clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. You gotta check 
these low leg kicks. Going back. Final seconds here of round two. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Third round underway. Hip into that leg kick. Just misses with the jab there. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick. Oh, snaps his head back with that offering. DC, he is hurt. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Got clipped with the right hand. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Just over three minutes now to go. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects. And that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. And they separate. Just missed with that right hand. Sound defensively here as he stays upright. Double leg takedown, no good. Staying busy in the clinch to avoid a separation. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of him. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Unable to connect. That one appeared to stun him. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. There it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. So, oh! He's out! Oh, my goodness! What a fight! Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Oh, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight grip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like we got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergley out has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, one second of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Big Bang. All right, so there he is, the 